Hello everyone, today we are going to change the controller of the ADO820 with the upgraded model. This provides uh, two uh, working modes, it's called a hybrid controller. It has uh, assisted mode that has three levels, you have level 1, level 2 and level 3 assist and you can switch that from two level assist plus one full electric mode. This way you can actually use this controller in every country of Europe. So when you have limitation that the throttle is not legal, you can disable the throttle from with this controller without changing anything else. And you are going to have an assisted pipe. And when you are going off-road and on private uh, roads where you don't need to abide to the legislation, you can disable that and enable full electric mode and benefit from the full power and full speed of the 80820F. To remove the old controller, you need to remove this plate as the controller is inside. You are going to need a hex key or allen key and this has a 2.5 size if you are searching for the right tool. And you have just four screws that you need to undone. They are pretty stiff on your bike so be sure to use a very good tool otherwise you otherwise you risk of damaging the screw heads and not be able to uh, take this apart anymore After the screws have been removed, gently take off the plate and this is held up with a lot of wires underneath. Don't worry about this one, this is not connected to anything. And now you have to gently pull out the cables without pulling too hard, otherwise you risk disconnecting the plugs and not knowing where each plug should go. And this is the original controller that we are going to replace. The size of the controller is roughly the same. The newer one is slightly bigger in size, but not by much. Uh, now it's very important to not rush this. Do not start pulling out cables and then trying to pull this. Actually, just remove one plug at a time. For instance, this one. Before you remove it, just check the wire colors. But there have been some cases when some of the wires here or from the other plugs have been mixed and not matching fully. So be sure to just check them because it's easier to check than diagnosing problems or fixing problems. So I have red, white and black. Then I have yellow, green and blue. Now I'm going to look at this one. So this one has red. Yes, we have the same white, black, this is ok, then we have yellow, green and blue, it's the same plug. So I'm going to remove this one from the original controller. It has this safety clip here that I'm going to take off. Alright, and now when and if the plug will come out, it will come out. Alright, now I'm going to connect this right away to my controller. So that's one plug sorted. Now I'm going to do the same with the other plugs. So never take more plugs out than you need. Just one at a time and check all the colors. This is the power cable. You can put this later so you have more space to play with. It's this connector with black and red. This supplies power to the controller. So the plugs are the same. There's no problem there. So I'm going to leave this off and I'm going to fix it later. Here's also some other information and maybe funny stuff. This is the original cables, so you get the motor phase wires. Sometimes you might find these with two wires reversed. Uh, if you hide them that way, the motor might spin reversed and the bike will not work. Uh, it's enough just to switch two wires between the phase 
wires and the motor will work in the correct direction. So this one is blue to blue, yellow to yellow and green to green. So no problem there. I'm going to take both three plugs out and then I'm going to connect them to my new controller. So I'm going to connect to green. Then I'm going to connect the blue. And last but not least, I still have a available yellow here to connect. And now I have connected the motor back to the bike. And this six plug here with six wires, this is the motor phase wires. As you can see, all the wires enter into the same protection here. This all these three uh, thick wires and 16 wires all go to the motor. The thin wires are for sensors, hold sensors, and the other ones are actually for supplying power to the motor. And here is something interesting. So this is the throttle wire. On the original controller we get yellow, green, black, blue and red. Then on the new controller we get yellow, green, black, but then we get orange and red. Nonetheless, this plug will fit in the correct way here. It's not going to be a problem, it's going to work. Then we have some connectors left and we are going to check also those ones. And when you are almost done with all connectors, as you can see they all fit and match the colors, uh, it's highly probable you are going to have this case where you see the plugs are identical, but I have here black, red, green, while on this one I have green, red, black. So on the new controller, two wires are reversed and you need to reverse them into the correct position. And that's done very simple. You need a screwdriver, very thin, that you can push this up here. So first you are going to remove this uh, hot glue here. It's just some kind of plastic. No problem removing it, it's very easy to be done. And now the wires are free here. And you are going to use a flat thin screwdriver. And here has a spring clip. And you are going to press that, keep it pressed very well. And gently pull the wire out and it will come out of the plug. It takes a bit of patience and a bit of care not to break the connector, but it will go out and the same happens with the other one and then you are going to put them back into position in the correct order and well, this one and now the black one here okay and this one is out when you take them off you can see it has a very small clip here. You can pry that clip out a bit. I don't know if you can see that, it's very tiny. So that when you insert them back into the plug, these uh, clips this, uh, will stay in the correct position and will not come out when you plug this back. So just pry that out a bit and it should be fine locking into the correct position of the plug. There you go, I have that very small bit there. To insert them back, you just push them in uh, with the clip part on the open part here, so it locks into position, so you just push that in. It makes a little click, and now that is fixed for good. So we double check now. Let's see the wires coming from the bike and the controller. They all now match the colors, so we have black, red, green, while on the bike they are reversed and we are going to let it that way. I'm going to take this and I'm going to plug this in. So that was the old controller coming off, sorry for that, and now we can uh, check this new one. We can now connect the power cable. And that one is connected. And now before putting all together, we can do a test. Uh, so I'm going to put this battery around here. I'm going to connect this. Be careful with the polarity here. You have a clearly marked plus sign here. 
that goes in like this. So battery is now connected, keys turn on and I'm going to try to power on the bike. Power on. It starts right away, so that works. I have power for the controller. Um, buttons of the controller work, of course. Uh, I have working lights. I don't know if you can observe that. Somewhere over there, it lights up the wall. So, light works. Horn works. And now, uh, I need to test the motor. But for testing the motor, I'm going to pack all this up and then ride the bike. And of course, I'm going to do another video showing how this controller works and the benefits of having the upgrade done. So, until my next video, see you and bye bye.